let's discuss this HTML and CSS. And then you've got this basic website application, which you can learn to do with HTML and CSS. So this is more of a, a developer roadmap video. And uh, this is so basically the whole point of this video is a developer roadmap. Now, what is a developer roadmap? It's it's a roadmap for you to see where you start. And so you're a beginner getting learning up to to become intermediate and then uh, advanced and expert. So this is a roadmap video. So as a beginner, this is where you want to start if you want to become a web developer in 2024. So you start with HTML and CSS, right? And once you're comfortable enough to do that, so when you watch YouTube tutorials and when you watch YouTube videos, don't watch them over and over again expecting a, a different result. No, 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 that's not how you learn. What you want to do is, is you want to build the website from the YouTube video. And then what you want to do is you want to go away and build your own website with what you've learned and also mess around with it, change things. And that's okay. Making mistakes, learn as you go along. So that's one of the things you have to do is once you get across to that, you go, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to build my own uh, website. Yeah. So you start with this and then you go over, build your website. And then this is the next step. Yeah. This is where we get on to JavaScript, right? So JavaScript has an amazing, amazing, uh, stuff going on right so with JavaScript you can also build your basic website as well and one of the things you want to do is you want to learn how to you know create a navigation uh, you know like a hamburger menu when when the sh when the screen shrinks and you want to activate a specific class so that it, it can open up the hamburger menu you can do that with JavaScript or maybe when you scroll down the page things appear you can do that with JavaScript there's a lot of things you can do with JavaScript okay and so that's the next step is to write learn the basic fundamentals of JavaScript okay and uh, there's a lot of tutorials online uh, maybe I'll I'll go ahead and do a video and my spare time on JavaScript uh, for beginners up to intermediate level. And so kind of once you get the understanding of, you know, just a little bit of JavaScript, you don't need to be an expert, right? You don't need to be extraordinarily good at, you know, something or anything in that matter. What you want to do is you want to just learn the fundamentals, just like get past the core concepts, right? Build basic things, don't build advanced things, just build something that you enjoy building. Simple website, mess around with it, you know, have fun building something with JavaScript um, and, you know, just have fun doing that, right? And then so we do is you build these amazing simple websites and one of the things there's a website called front end mentor i'll put that in the link in the, the description this website has a lot of uh, projects you can uh, build with just html and css and javascript and you can upload your code you can basically just upload it and people can give you feedback right so thank youtube uh, but for developers like you know web developers and uh, you know front end uh, developers anyways so you know once you kind of you know, do mess around with javascript build some websites then the next step would be moving on to react and react is a this library allows you or this framework allows you to <clears throat> websites easy and manageable way and what i mean is, is that so okay well first let's just go back here so with javascript let me just put this here so javascript here you want to kind of learn uh, you know like variables uh functions how do you use functions uh if statements right so these are like the kind of core concept you don't need to learn classes or anything like that and actually you know the interesting thing is i haven't really i've seen a few like i've seen some developers use classes um but here you want to just do variables functions if statements and obviously like oh that's another one switch statements if you get really interested in that it's actually the same as if statements but it's just in a more professional manner there's a there's a lot to go on right for loop or just loops right but the, these these things you'll learn along the way right so you don't need to kind of worry too much about this but the basics are the variables functions and if statements okay and so the next thing is you move on to here you move on to react now react is really cool okay react you can do a lot of things so one of the things you can do well first of all this is it's easy to use right so once you start getting used to it it gets easier okay so it's easy to use um you know it's a js i guess you can call it a framework i don't know people say it's a library people say it's a framework it, honestly i just don't care i call it a framework because it has a lot of core functionalities there's a lot of cool things you can do with it so one of those things is like um reusable components right so no, i don't think i spelled that correctly my bad uh, reusable components there we go and so it's easy to use reusable com uh, components 
Ravens, they use a thing called JSX, which is just JavaScript uh, XML, which means that you can write your HTML in uh, a JavaScript file, right? Uh, basically, the reason why that is is so, like, for example, let's say that I had, so let me, let me give you a demonstration. So let's say this is my website, right? So let's say this is a website. Okay, so let's say this is a website, right? And then with React, you can do this. So let's say this is a header component or the nav nav bar component. So this is a navigation component. Maybe it has a few buttons here and you know whatever, right? So this is a this is a nav bar component, all right? And then this here is a sidebar component. And with this, okay, let's say that I had a button component. I can reuse that component many. T so for example, here. Like, here we go. So this, I create a component. That's my button component. I can reuse that component without writing the same code again, right? And again and again. So I can just reuse it and I can put it anywhere I like on the application. So that's 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 the cool thing about what you can do with React. But when you're, in the, when you're learning this stuff in the beginning, the HTML and CSS, you don't actually, you don't use components. You have to write everything vanilla and yourself and you have to rewrite components. But when you use React, you can use reusable components, use the same component again, twice right and it's really it's really nice so let's say like this instead of a sidebar this was like a kind of like a card component right so you create a card component and you can actually reuse that component more than once without writing the same code again right and then you can have many card components as you want so anyways that was just like a very basic example of a web application that you can use and build with uh, <laughs> react and the, the really thing, the really interesting thing about React JS is that, so if I bring this around here, you can see that you can also build mobile apps. There's a thing called React Native. So I'm going to write that out, React Native, right? So React Native is React, but instead of building websites, you can actually make apps too. So you can make mobile apps, right? And you can have like the same thing, components, maybe a button, maybe that was like a social media, and this is like a social media feed here, right? And people are posting things, yeah. Maybe it's messaging, right? And so, you know, you can build interesting and fun little intuitive apps. Like, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with that. Anyway, so that's that's what, these are like the two things you can do with that is build websites, build like platform, and build uh, an app with React, okay? The next thing is databases. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. So you want to have a database because uh, you want to store a person's uh, username. Uh, maybe you want to store email and passwords. So you can log in. So, you know, like, for example, when you log into Instagram or you log into Facebook um, or you log into TikTok, how do they do that? They use a database. They store your uh, email and your password or, you know, you continue with your Google account and that stores on their database, right? So there's a lot of databases. So these are just a few. So, okay, here, just move this aside. So one of the, the first thing is, is one called MongoDB. Now, I did a quick video on this just on my channel just before, but essentially what MongoDB is, MongoDB is a database. So, for example, you see you've got first name, last name, address. You know, these are the types of things you can store in this database. It's free. Um, they have their paid features, but obviously you can get this on just on your computer localhost and actually use the database, yeah? Um, so, it's just a database. Uh, so, the interesting thing about this database is that they don't store as tables. They store as documents, which I won't dive into now, uh, but this is just an option. And uh, there's a thing called the MERN stack, which is using MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. So, that's called the MERN stack, but, you know, you can use this for your business beginner so as a beginner i'll probably uh i'm saying probably because i never actually used a lot of mongodb before but you know i've seen a lot of people who get into react they go with mongodb so uh, i would suggest you know play around with mongodb see how it goes you know build social media uh, websites maybe uh, maybe build like login applications authentication or whatever uh, the next thing is uh postgresql sorry i'm just uh, moving around a lot here so the next thing is the most uh, the world's most advanced open source database which is postgresql SQL. They store as tables and it's easier to read and manage data. Um, so if you want to use PostgreSQL, they don't have that website for it. You can actually download it on Windows or Mac and you can run it locally just as MongoDB. Uh, but there's a thing called uh, Elephant SQL, which installs uh, PostgreSQL, the database, in the cloud and you can use the PostgreSQL database um, for your app, right? So that's interesting. Um, another PostgreSQL option is actually um, so if I come over to here, there's a thing called Superbase, right? Or like that. So there's a thing called Superbase. And 
Um, Superbase is a PostgreSQL based uh, web service, uh, back end as a service. So you can store that. Actually, I would recommend as a beginner, go with Superbase instead because they have authentication set up for you. They have the database and table set up for you. So you don't have to write SQL code. They have a web site examples. They have applications already built for you to look at, you know, such as super, uh, social media uh, or uploading a profile picture and storing it, uh, changing your username password they have all of that and they have tutorials on their website you can check it out um the other option is which i've seen a lot is most people go with firebase and actually i don't recommend this at all um you know the firebase documentation is not that great if you go to firebase uh, website but i'll put all these links in the descriptions for you guys to take a look at yourself but i don't recommend this so i'm going to just remove that but post uh, postgresql uh, goes to superbase i would suggest using superbase to get you started on any particular project okay and so you yeah, so this is kind of like the developer roadmap and how you would start your web developer journey. So you start with HTML, CSS, build your basic website, build more than, you know, just build a lot of basic websites, really. Maybe just have fun, play around with it, you know, projects. The next thing is JavaScript. You build some sites with that. The next thing is React, okay? And you can build your applications in React. And here we go here. You've got your databases and you can choose your database and that's it, you know? Now you basically a full stack dev, you're full stack developer but you're still learning right so over time you'll slowly learn your skills and you'll get better and you'll have fun as being a web developer and especially if you know react you can build websites and mobile apps so that's really cool anyways thank you guys i really appreciate you guys watching this video if you uh, watch the full video of this i really appreciate it um don't forget to like and uh subscribe follow you know follow for more if you want to see videos like this where i kind of dive deep into developer roadmap and you know react and stuff like that anyways thank you guys for watching this i really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.